Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video I want to talk to you about the Grid Trend Multiplier. The Grid Trend Multiplier allows beginner traders to, tra to buy and sell a currency and still make a lot of money. It also allows experienced traders if they know the direction of a trend to multiply their gains when they're trading that particular trend. So it's a great multi-purpose EA. But today I'm going to just talk to you about the strategy of using a buy and a sell at the same time. So let's have a look at that. Now if you're new to grid trading, all of this might be quite unusual at first. But spend a bit of time, rewind this video, rewatch it if you're not sure of the principles. But they are extremely simple. And if you just follow the very simple rules, you'll find it not too complicated. So the first rule is you take the chart that you want to trade and you divide it into equal distance lines. Like I've shown on, on the existing one, see the red lines? Those are what I call grid lines. So what you've done is you've created a grid on your trading charts. Then you start trading and the secret here is to make sure that any move from one grid line to the next grid line will result in a positive trade. Now how do you accomplish that? That's very easy. You put a buy and a sell in to start with. So if the price goes up to the next grid line, you cash in your buy. If it goes down to the, next, uh, the bottom grid line, you cash in your sell. And you make sure that Whenever the price reaches a grid line, that rule applies. So if there's a missing buy, you add the buy. If there's a missing sell, you add the sell. But you make sure that the price always has a chance of having a positive deal when it is at a grid line and it will move to the next grid line. So again, let's have a look at the example that we've got here. And it starts here at number one. Let's, let's say that's the first time the, the price touches that grid line. You open a buy and a sell. The price then moves up to 0.2. And you cash in that buy that's over there. It there is then cashed in. So then that buy that was at number one gets cashed in positively. And you have to add a buy and a sell at at that level two to make sure that if the price goes up or down you will be profitable so the price then goes down to number three so what happens there is that sell that was at number two gets cashed in positively and we have to then add a buy because that buy at number one was cashed in so we have to add a buy at number three so that any movement from three either downwards or upwards will be positive the price then moves to number four, which means that the buy that was just added earlier gets cashed in again. And again, we have to add the sell that was cashed in originally down there to that one. Sounds complicated, but if you stick to the concept that every grid position has to have a chance of going positive or negative if it moves away from that position. And the only way you can do that is by having a buy and a sell at that level. Not, not necessarily at the point at which it has touched the grid line, but at that level, there should always be a buy and a sell. And the, these numbers are all cash-in numbers except for one. So two is a cash-in, three is a cash-in, four is a cash-in, five is a cash-in, and so on and so on. And I haven't added all the buys and sells all the other way. But you, you can see here that the why this works is the price does tend to visit the same price level over and over again if your grid sizes are big enough. Now in this example again I've basically worked on a 50 pip grid. It might not be 100% uh, correct as per the example but let's say this was a 50 pip grid. What would have happened here is that at the end where we are now at the current price there would be two open buys. In other words, that buy number 17 and that buy number 20 has not, they have not been cashed in or they are still open. So uh, their position, and let's say it's down on this line here, their position 17 would be two 
times minus 50 and 20 will be 1 times minus 50 and that's where it is and then at the bottom here we've got a cell this 12 is still open it hasn't been cashed in so we have a cell which is minus 50 so if you add those together you get a negative of minus 200 for all the open deals that there are the ones that are open at 21 it's a buy and a sell so they hedged so they don't matter too much then we count how many times have we actually cashed in and now this is where the power of this method works and if you think about it we didn't cash in number one but he cashed all those other numbers have been cashed in deals so there were 20 cashed in deals at 50 pips so we actually gained thousand pips in this particular price movement that's occurred there but we have two only 200 pips negatively open so if we closed all our open deals and and just stopped trading we would have a gain of 800 pips so that's basically the idea of the grid multiplier it multiplies your gains just because the price visits the same price level over and over again now if you found this a little bit confusing rewatch it once twice three times and you'll soon understand how it works now let's skip to the input for this ea this ea's input is actually extremely simple it, it basically says the first thing you need to do is decide what grid size you're going to use and in this example we're using a 24 pip grid so there's number one grid sign then you have to decide whether you want to do buys and sells now really experienced traders know where the price is going and they will either buy or sell and even when they do that the price will still multiply and multiply their gains as the price moves up so that's the second decision you need to m make then there's a something that i haven't mentioned before is that you're given the opportunity that once your account is a certain amount positive you can just cash in all your deals and start again and, and that's a very good thing because it allows the grid trend model to become a trending year so in other words if it's positive as it's going up you cash in goes, goes up again you cash in and that allows it to follow slow trends so the setting i've put in there is every 50 dollars i want to cash everything in and start again real good risk management tool then the next one a very important that a lot of people don't acknowledge is what kind of position sizing or what kind of lot sizing because that also determines your risk if your lot sizing is too big your risk is going to be too big if your lot sizing is small your risk will be small and in this case we're going for the smallest lot sizing possible which is only a micro lot 0.01 is the micro lot and then the next step is to just enable both the buys and the sell if you're going to be doing that now that's how simple this ea is you just do that and people say what settings must i use these are the settings look at them quite carefully you can actually if you purchase this ea you can just use those settings plus very importantly the currency i'm going to show you okay now currency selection is, is quite critical for this ea because this ea doesn't like trends now there are lots of ways of of, of managing trends firstly you, your cash in number if you cash in con consistently as the trends happening uh, you won't be in too much danger or alternatively you can have big grid sizes if your grid sizes are big your risk is reduced considerably the but the biggest fact is which currency do you use and the idea here is to find currencies that don't trend that tend to go sideways a lot and the way you find that is you go to this website matov you'll see the 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 link on the on your slide and you then go for currency volatility it will give give you a list of currencies i go for 40 i go for 50 weeks because i want to see the currency volatility over the last year and it will then tell you which is the which are the countries that have been the most volatile and the least volatile i only want to know the least ones so i sort this column uh, in uh, in order from the smallest to the largest and immediately will tell me the euro pound has been the least volatile currency in the last year so that's the currency i would choose because it's the it, it, ha it has the lowest risk of trending so what i've done now is i've taken those settings that i've shown you exactly the same settings 
and I've run them for the pound euro on a back testing basis over an, a year. And it's a very simple one because you don't need time frames for this because you're working with price levels. So you, this can be traded on a five minute, on a one minute, on a one hour, on a daily chart. It doesn't matter. They're all going to activate at the same time. So, and because you're using tick data, so the minute the price touches the line, a transaction is activated. So. Uh, price, uh, time frames don't matter. But over that year, it's, there's been a, a nice return on a $1,000 account. There's been a $660 return. Now, if you think about that, that's an average of $50 a month on a $1,000 investment. It's just, you know, r really good stuff. Uh, there, there are, however, risks that the, the drawdowns can become high. But other, but other than that, if you've chosen the right currency and you've chosen the right grid size, you should be okay. Now, we, we spoke about grid sizes, and you, you'll see the setting that we use is 24. Now, 24 is actually a setting right in the middle of our results. It's, it's, it's actually even to the bottom of the, of the results. If you use, for instance, 10, a, gr a grid size of 10, uh, you would be generating 1,000. You'll have doubled your, your money. But at the same time, your drawdown risk is so much higher. So instead of having a $300 drawdown, you've got a $1,000 drawdown. So it's up to you to decide. Do you want to be aggressive and weather the drawdown that happens, or do you want to be conservative and just make a nice amount of money every month? So this, this EA gives the aggressive trader a chance to make a lot of money and it gives the conservative trader a chance of making really solid money. Now you can see all all of the settings really were positive so it's, 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 it's quite a robust EA when traded with the correct currency. So here's an equity chart of the results that you've just seen and you can see there is there are some dangers built into this one. It is cashing in every time it makes a 50% a fifty dollar gain. It's cashing in. There it is one, two. It's cashed in, cashed in, cashed in. Then suddenly it, it incurred a drawdown. There's the drawdown, huge profitability, but at the same time huge drawdown. And then it cashed in when it made another fifty dollar profit, and so on. And then then it's then it's calmed down and cashed in on a more routine basis. But that that's uh, that's the way the EA trades. What a lot of traders do is they actually withdraw that those cashed in amounts and and keep your keep the account uh, at at the start level which is a thousand dollars and sooner or later you're going to double uh, you'll have drawn out double the amount that you've invested and then your your investment becomes risk free but there are dangers and you can see and this danger isn't as big as it looks here it's only gone down to 800 now now you started with a thousand and it's only gone down to 800 so it's it's it's, it's a 20 percent drawdown on your starting amount but um, you need to be aware that these kind of things can happen but they correct themselves over time and then and then the tr trading normalizes and that's why these Regular cash-ins are quite important because basically you're starting all over from over. All your deals are closed and you're starting all over. So your risk of these huge amount of open deals building up uh, disappears. Now soon I'm going to be showing you the EA trading in a constructed live uh, situation so things are going to happen very quickly so rather than trying to explain why all, everything's happening at once I've taken a picture to explain how we're starting out so number one is as you can see the EA opens a buy and a sell because you've told it to at, at the point that you at at the moment and it constructs a, a grid in our case of 24 pips. So there's a grid downwards and a grid upwards. Uh, that's point one. The second thing I just want to tell you about is you can see the magic number was uh, 2014. So this EA has been around for a very long time. It's actually won all of the trading competitions it's ever participated in. So it's a very robust EA. Uh, there's been Virtually annually, there's been a trading competition which it's won. So it's a very robust EA, you, and, and as I say, you can trade it either one way or you can trade buy and sells at the same time.
Then three is a three is a very important point. You need high leverage to trade this yeah, because the amount of open trades can build up over time. So the testing that has been done on this EA and what you're seeing in this video has, has been done on 400 to 1 leverage. Very important. You cannot trade it with 50 to 1 leverage. You will get a margin call even if the EA is profitable. So that happens quite a lot. The EA is profitable but people get a margin call and they think it's the EA's fault. It's because their lot sizing was too big and their leverage was too small. So you need to go for the highest leverage you can get on this particular one and still be conservative with your lot sizing. And then four is just to show you that we uh, will be trading 24 pip gaps. And when we see the trading, watch carefully as the EA cashes in positive deals and leaves the negative deals open until the price revisits those particular levels and then cashes cashes the positive deals on those levels in. So our next step is really to have a look at the reconstructed live trading. Okay, here we are. We've started trading and I have moved the information block slightly out of the way not to distract us and the EA is trading. It's a uh, opened the first two deals it's established the grid and I'm just going to increase the speed at which it trades to show you the transactions that happen okay so it's cashed in that sell going down and a reopened a sell it's also cashed in the buy going up it's also cashed in that buy so transactions happen pretty quickly and there's another sell that's cashed in another sell that's cashed in and you can get the idea that it is cashing in transactions at every grid level, either a buy, positive buy or a positive sell. And the, the grids start getting a bit confused because of the different spread levels. But again, you've got a cashed in buy happening there, a cashed in sell, a cashed in sell. Every time the price touches a grid level, a transaction happens. Plus, it is opening new buys or new sales should they be required at that particular level. If there's already a buy in place or a sell in place, it won't open another sell. It, there's only, uh, and then what, what's just happened here is the target profit reached. Remember, we have a, a target profit reach of $50. It's been reached by $57. And then what the grid then does is closes all the trades and starts again very good thing because that allows it to follow trends and reduce risk quite a lot and it's still doing the same thing as before cashing in positive transactions as the price touches grid levels there we are and opening new ones should there not be any transactions in place at those particular grid levels so you can see it continuously just cashing in open open sales and open buys all the time and let's just let it run for a little bit longer just to give you an idea of and, and there's another cash in there a cash in sell happened there so uh, let's just let it run another cash in sell as I say the grid levels start getting distorted because of the spreads that are involved. There's a cash in buy that's just occurred and a cash in sell. Oh, all right, so it it's uh, now cashed in another profitable level. It's added another $50 of profits and then restarted the grid at that particular point. So it's closed all the transactions at that point and restarted and then it continues doing uh, its normal thing of cashing in any transactions that touch grid levels. So I hope this gives you an idea of how the trading happens. Now I hope you found that interesting uh, and it, um, hopefully it also explains to you how these cash in points work. You saw two cashing points in action and you also saw the positive cashing in of positive deals on a continuous basis.
Now, if you want more information about the grid trend multiplier, please visit this website. The link has been provided there. It will also be provided in the description of the video. And uh, you can have a look at that. It is an extremely powerful uh, EA. It is one of our most used EAs. In other words, although it was launched o over four or five years ago, people are using it consistently on a daily basis on their live accounts and on their demo accounts. Now, here's a special offer to my subscribers on YouTube. If you are a subscriber on YouTube and you have never bought one of our products, I will give you a 50% discount. What you need to do is purchase the product at full price. Notify me at alex at expertforex.com and I will refund you 50% of your purchase price. Now, I hope you found this video interesting and, have a, and that it has given you some really interesting forex trading ideas. So if you've liked this video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel before, please subscribe. And if you have subscribed, please click the bells to be notified of any new videos that I bring out. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.